Paper products serve so many important functions in our daily lives. Because these products are fundamental to so many things we do, it's essential that we promote the responsible practices in the forests that produce them. In some regions of the world, illegal activities like overcutting, taking banned species, or cutting in protected areas can affect paper product supply chains, putting forests at risk. But through proper stewardship, our forests can continue to be one of the most sustainable resources the world has. Companies who produce, source, or specify paper can help promote responsible forestry by making informed sourcing decisions. And there is good reason to do so. Under the amended Lacey Act, companies whose products contain illegally sourced fiber can be exposed to significant penalties, including forfeiture of goods, fines of up to half a million dollars, and prison terms of up to five years. The good news is that there are many ways that companies can act to ensure that their paper products come from responsibly managed forests. This video will introduce you to some innovative technologies that have been developed to detect illegal wood and pulp in paper products, and will also share tools you can use to minimize your company's risk from unintended purchases of illegally harvested wood. NGOs and governments are using satellites to identify logging operations occurring in illegal areas, including protected areas or national parks. Satellite imagery can be used to see when changes have taken place in a forest. You can use present and past satellite images and then compare the two to identify exactly where and when changes took place. We can also use satellite imagery along with maps on where the boundaries of parks and logging concessions are to determine whether logging took place inside or outside a permitted area. We use remote sensing technology to identify areas of suspicious activity which can help support law enforcement. This type of monitoring can also serve as a deterrent against future illegal activities. While satellite technology can help to abate illegal activity in particular forests of concern, other, more targeted technologies can help companies verify that their paper products have not been tainted by illegal wood or pulp. Here at IPS, we analyze different papers, paper products, for example, just normal writing paper, uh, towel and tissue. For analysis, we're looking at the fiber composition. This helps customers determine whether it's made to the specifics that they require, whether it's from the raw materials that they get. The fiber analysis process works by us breaking down the fiber product into a slurry and that slurry is then prepared on microscope slides. From there we can tell what what the species, genera, family that, that these vessels and fibers are from. The timber supply chain is complex with many changes of ownership and many transformations of form. CI World is used to conduct forest inventories worldwide. The system uses a combination of barcoding technologies, GPS monitoring, handheld devices, and combines them in a single environment to allocate unique identifiers to standing trees in a forest, to semi-processed material as it moves along the supply chain, and ultimately to finished products as they ship to the consumer from export locations around the world. Using a unique identifier, it allows us to verify where material came from, who owned it, who processed it, and importantly, has it complied with the law. Like all living organisms, different tree species have their own particular DNA. Double Helix uses DNA technology in the forest to keep illegal log out of the supply chain. The DNA of every tree not just tell you where they are come from, but also their neighborhood because they are all related. It's very simple. You just take a sample at the forest. In the factory, we take more samples and we match them back. What's new and innovative about Double Helix's approach is the ability to extract DNA from timber products uh, and then to use that DNA to pinpoint the source of origin of a particular product. For those that can't engage with these technologies, there are other tools available to them online that allow them to understand risk and to reduce that risk. Forest Legality Alliance makes documents and tools available on their website to help companies understand legislation such as Alacia. It also provides guidance for best practice and responsible procurement for supply chains. 